Hello everyone, this is the Hunter from Rise of the Reds and we're gonna demonstrate the Venom Protocol to you in this video. The first thing that the Venom Protocol improves is that it gives all the basic infantry exoskeletons, which allows them to move and in some cases attack faster than they would do normally. This allows them to overcome a much greater force than they would do without this protocol upgrade. The second thing the Venom Protocol unlocks is Jump Jet Infantry. Jump Jet Infantry can travel over any type of terrain using their jetpacks. An additional effect for Jump Jet Infantry is that they cannot be targeted by heavy anti-air units, such as Crumbles, Twin Fangs and the likes. Jump Jet Infantry are, however, still vulnerable to other anti-aircraft weapons, such as these Tunguskas right there, that can easily force them into a retreat. Next up is the Venom Combat Armor from the Valkyrie team. The Valkyrie Team Venom Combat Armor is armed with a canister gun, as you can see right now, which absolutely destroys infantry units. Additionally, the same gun also has an underbarrel attachment for grenades, which you can use to decimate vehicles, and especially light vehicles. It also has access to a pair of anti-tank missiles, which are fired from the shoulder. However, as powerful as the Venom is, once the enemy starts throwing serious anti-tank firepower at it, the Venom will still be forced to retreat. And last, but certainly not least, is the Venom Combat Armor from Team Viking. Team Viking Venoms are armed with a large caliber anti-material rifle, which can decimate enemy vehicles and infantry at long range. Its low rate of fire and limited range at close combat makes it very vulnerable in areas where the Valkyrie would absolutely decimate the enemy. One thing the Viking Venom can do, which the Valkyrie cannot, is attack aircraft with its shoulder-mounted Star Streak missiles. Well, this concludes our Venom Protocol demonstration video. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I would also like to take this opportunity to announce that we are going to do Q&A videos in the future. We will make an announcement of this video in a future update, and we will try to answer as many of your questions as possible. As an ending scene, here's a nice last stand of both ECA Venoms holding off a Russian attack force.